Letter 138 Show condescension for those who are weak. November 22, 1882 I received another letter from you, M. Still you keep getting angry. But this further aggravates your illness. I spoke with Batushka regarding the disorder at Strapeza and his answer was that it is inexpedient to start a campaign against it. Just tell Matushka, he says, and she will raise up a storm. Let's wait on it for now. And you, learn to show condescension for those who are weak. After all, you would like to live in a better way, but in practice you can't hack it. After all, it seems like nothing could be easier than to chase away this fog of thirds. But no, they just keep coming at you. So it is with these poor sisters. You write that in the world they have better table manners. Why out there they outstrip us poor monastics in many areas. But the moment these same strugglers show up in a monastery, you would never recognize them. Here they will suddenly develop an appetite and sleepiness and malice and all kinds of things, as St. John of the Ladder writes in his third discourse, The Ladder of Divine Ascent. It is worth investigating why those who live in the world and spend their life in vigils, fasts, labors and hardships, when they withdraw from the world and begin the monastic life as if at some trial or on their practicing ground, no longer continue the discipline of their former spurious and sham asceticism. I have seen how in the world they planted many different plants of their virtues, which were watered by vainglory as by an underground sewage pipe and were hoed by ostentation and for many were heaped with praise. But when transplanted to a desert soil, inaccessible to people of the world and so not manured with their false-smelling water of vanity, they wither it at once. For water-loving plants are not such as to produce fruit in hard and arid training fields. After all, no need to look far. Let's take me and you, M. Weren't we awfully nice at first? So do not be amazed either at yourself or at anyone else. Until God manifests his aid, we shall not be able to do anything by ourselves. You may eat fish on account of infirmity, only please stop getting irritated and do not hold on to your thirsts for a long time. You write that a nun should not have them. Why? Who are they to intrude upon if not a young nun? They have little to gain from old ones who have already been tried. But the demons torment your young ones both with depression and with other passions. That is how the young ones become practiced. An untried man is unpractised. Saint Barsanufius answer two hundred fifty five.